step is to actually get ready to turn your design into silicon. So the first thing you need to do is produce the layout data, which is the instructions that are minuscule for every single little component in that uh, complex chip. And this data, again, we call GDS2. This is a graphical image of what it looks like. Um, if you could actually peek at the chip, you'd be able to see something like this. And so we're going to do this automatically again. There's an example of a tool that does it. But let me show you something interesting. So the, the graph, uh, pardon me, the physical description, the specification for which piece goes where, could look like this in semi-human readable form. So you can see over here, it's talking about, oh, there's a layer. Remember the layers of the chip. There's a layer. Um, here's something that's like an XY coordinate. How far over this way and how far down do I want to be? And a lot of numbers that are telling you where to put certain pieces. So that's kind of human readable. Uh, it also looks like this in computer code. So that this is a lot more compact, but it's not very human readable. But uh, that's more like what the computer is, is used to seeing and can, and can handle better. This is kind of amazing. Today's chips right now, the file size that describes the physical implementation can be 20 to 30 gigabytes in size. And when I think about that, um, that means the, the laptop that I have right now might barely be able to hold one chip design. So that is a huge amount of data. But when I'm going to show you the next step, which we call correcting the image because we've got some problems to solve still, the size of the file can reach 150 gigabytes of data, which is 150 billion bytes or a trillion bits of data. This is massive amounts of data just to represent the physical layout and placement of that chip. Amazing.